Hello, welcome to STQB Foundation Level Syllabus and today we are going to discuss about test work products. So till now we have seen what are the test activities and what are the tasks in the test activities. Now we will see is what should we get, what are the work product of it. So what all things it consists of, okay, as a product. So let's start with our topic. So the first thing or the first phase is the test planning phase. So now let's see that what all things test planning phase consists of. So first thing is plan A and plan B. So it should have two plans. So whether the plan A is working, if the plan A is not working, then we should be able to switch to the plan B. So that should be the work product. So it should have two plans. Next thing is it should have test basics info. At least like what we are going to build. At least that type of information it should uh, contain. And then the work product. So it has to define all the work products which has to be available for the rest process. Like for the test control, uh, implementation and control. What is the work product? Analysis, design, execution, implementation. For all those th things, what are the work products? So that will be defined in the test planning phase itself. And the Next one is the exit criteria and entry criteria. So for each phase, what will be the exit criteria, entry criteria and what is the exit criteria? For example, for the design phase, the entry criteria will be, we should have the analysis report, test analysis, like which all things we can test, which all things we cannot test. And for and the exit criteria will be once we have the test cases with it and the traceability is provided. So that is the exit criteria. So that is what we have to define it in the test planning phase. So now comes the next phase that is the test monitoring and control phase. So let's see what are the work products in test monitoring and control. Test monitoring phase contains test progress report. So we have to see that whatever phase is defined in the test planning are they progressing and what is the report are they progressing well or they are below behind the schedule or ahead of the schedule or on the schedule or there is any other problem related to it. Then it should contain the test summary report at the end. So the summary report will also be part of this one next will be the test completion so it has to see that all the tests are completing or not so that is also one of the part of work product and then is the resource allocation so how much ever resource is there if one resource is not available then provide two resources or if the resources are more then reduce the resource and provide it in the some other part of the testing phase uh, uses and effort. So how much effort is required depending upon that that feedback will be given to the test planning phase and then uh, This will be the planning will be updated again. So that is what test monitoring and control should contain The next step is the test analysis phase. So in this test analysis phase, we will define the test conditions so uh, All the test conditions should be available as a work product here then we have to prioritize the test conditions like which test to be done first, which test to be done next. So that is what we have to prioritize. So it should not be like if we uh, we, are, we start with some uh, requirement or we develop some requirement by implementing those requirements, we are not able to check anything. So that is of no use. So high level. So we have to start with the basic thing. So that is what we have to prioritize. Which, should, which thing we should first define as a test condition. Then we have to see that there is a bi-directional traceability between the test basics and the test condition. So that is also as a work product. Then creation of the test charter. So what all things are there will be in one place. Test basics defect. So whatever is the defect in the test basis that also we have to find. So whatever requirement customer gives us if there is any ambiguity in it or uh, there is some other type of mistakes in it then we have to uh, find it out. The next phase is the test design phase and in test design phase we do a test case set. So we have the test condition from that test condition what we will derive is the test cases. So that test cases will be available as a work product. So this is the product of this test design phase. High level test cases we have to define. So we have the very low level of test cases in the test analysis phase. In the test design phase we have the high level. So by seeing that anyone can perform the activity. Then scope of the test cases. So how much we have to cover for that particular test condition? Do we need two requirement to write a test condition or we need lots of data or we can use different type of test techniques like boundary value analysis 
Right? So those things we have to define the scope of the test case. How many test cases we will write for that one test condition. And then we have to see the bi-directional traceability between the high level test cases, test conditions and the test basics. So these three things are uh, traceable or not that we have to find it out. Next comes the test data identification. So if we have a boundary value analysis then we have to find out which all data is required for those boundaries. So if we are going for a stress testing then what all with all, what all data we will provide that uh, it will be a load on the system or stress on a system. So that is what we have to identify here itself. Next comes the test environment. So what type of environment we need to in order to perform these test cases. And last is the infrastructure and tool. So test environment, infrastructure and tool is the thing which we have to decide in the test design phase itself. It is a work product. Next comes is the test implementation phase. So here what we will do is we will uh, make a test procedure. So just remember in test analysis we developed the test condition. Then in test design phase test cases or high level test cases. And then in test implementation test procedure. So this is a procedure which someone will see and depending upon that he will execute the test cases. So test implementation stage should have test procedures as a test basis. Sequencing test procedures. So in a sequence it should be available that in which sequence we are going to execute our test cases. Then test suits. So all the test scripts will be part of one particular bundle and that will be called as a test suits. Test execution schedule will be decided here itself like uh, how, how many test cases we will run in one day. Verification of the test data. So whatever test data we have identified here, we will verify it once more here also in the test implementation stage. Then verification of the test environment. So here we will decide about the test environment and here we will verify whether it is sufficient for whatever uh, uh, test data we have uh, taken. Is it suitable for it or not? And last one is the high level test case to a low level test case. So it also provides a traceability between the high level test cases and the low level test cases. Next comes the final stage where we are going to actually check the software. So the status of the individual test cases. So we have to see that after running an individual test case whether it is passed or fail. If it is fail then we have to analyze it. Status of the test procedure also. So what is the status of that particular steps? Each step we have to see it. Then defect report. So if there is any failure, then we have to raise a defect report for it. Test item documentation. So we have to document it. So if we found a defect, then in the form of an anomaly report, we have to provide it. And what all items we have used for our execution, that also we have to list it down. Test object documentation. Similarly, similar way, we have to document about the test objects. Test tool documentation and test wear documentation. So what all uh, after this execution phase, what all products we have that we will uh, document. So documentation phase is in the test execution phase. So hope till now we are clear. And last one is the test completion stage. In the test completion stage, we have test summary report. Obviously, then the project improvement. If, are there any improvement required? Because we are doing so many things here. Obviously, there will be a scope of improvement. If someone has found it out, then that will be discussed in this particular phase and it will be used for the next project or next cycle. Iteration improvement. So the way we are iterating, the way we are executing, can we do, uh, can we improve that? Or the way we are prioritizing, is there any scope of uh, improvement? So those all things will be part of iteration improvement. Process improvement. Since we have followed a one cycle of process, so now we have to see that is there anything which we can add to this process so that it is more effective. Change request. So since there is a failure if we find, so does it require a change request or we can just go ahead with the thing which we have. Then the product backlog. So if we have uh, like we have discussed in one of our video that if we have auto if we have just manually tested one test case which could have been automated because of the time pressure we have just manually did it so that is a backlog and then to document that that okay this particular backlog will be tested in the next requirement or next cycle so that is what we have to decide in the test completion stage so you can see that there are hell amount of uh, work products here so 
just remember them go through them uh, one by one it is a good summary also uh, so whenever you have time just open this one and have a glance of it because you will get question from this particular part also so this uh, and last one is the finalize the test where so what all things we are going to store that which i forgot okay so i'm closing my test cases from here not yet i think i forgot one more thing that is the iso standard so this work product comes under 291193 this is the standard in which test work product comes so just remember this thing so this is a final buy from my side see you in my next video until then happy testing